Hey guys, what is up the new Cubist here? Welcome to my starter farm built-in survival tutorial. So I actually built this in survival. I'm not right now as you can see me flying, but I'm just flying to give you a little overview. So I built this completely in survival. I'll show you how to get all the materials, show you how to build this entire thing block by block. And uh, yeah, I hope you guys stick around for the video and let's get started. All right, so we're in survival mode for this video as well. We're gonna be building a starter farm, which you saw from the intro. So first things first, we're gonna need to gather a little bit of wood here. I'd recommend getting about 32 wood. We're gonna need to make some fence, fence gates, slabs, and then maybe some other things here. So I'm just gonna gather about 32 wood real quick and we'll get started on it. So this isn't gonna require a bucket, so that does make it a starter-ish build. So you don't really need uh, anything. Now you can either do this on an ocean, you can do it on a river. I'm gonna do it on a little bit of a pond that's on my world but you're gonna need something that has some water obviously for a farm you can't just build it in the middle of nowhere unless you have a bucket and if you have buckets good on you uh, it's kind of hard to find iron off the bat I, mean, I know it's not rare or anything but it's not the most common material in the world so I'm just gathering some wood here now let me know in the comments do you want to see me actually gather all the resources because like gathering the wood that's that's not really hard honestly it's just kind of it takes a little bit of time and I don't want to break I'm gonna get more than 32 just because I don't want to break like a tree halfway so what I meant by a little pond was something that looks like like this right here is a perfect uh, example right that looks cool and then there's also one near that house that we just did the 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 one right before this video so if you missed this house and you want to see it it's pretty cool right it's, it's got a decently sized area and uh, yeah so we have this pond right here and I think that's where I was going to build my farm so there's a couple of ways you can do it right I'm gonna start off by just digging around the outside of it so we can get a little bit of a flat area around it that's completely unnecessary it's just gonna make it look a little bit better a little bit more spacious now again, I cannot stress that this is not necessary, but I'm just going to do it. Now, there are a couple of ways you can go about your farm, right? For example, you could do it um, just like around the pond, or you could actually go in between it and make like rows in the pond. There's a bunch of ways you can do it. I'm gonna do it with the rows in the pond, but of course you could do it however you want to. So let me come in here. I'm gonna have to grab some seeds. So that's something I'm not gonna show because it's gonna take a while, but all you wanna do is run around your world haphazardly and grab some seeds real quick. Now it is kind of a little bit tricky, I guess, if you don't have a bunch of grass, but I would get, I would say 64 seeds. I don't think you're gonna use all 64, but it's not gonna hurt getting more than you're gonna use. So I'm gonna run around my world. When I find a more satisfying place to break, I'll come back. All right, so I'm still just running here. I'll do a little bit of parkour on camera. Oh, I'll do some parkour as soon as I start recording. So this is my ideas world, but there's still a good bit of like plains area that I haven't touched. So we're just gonna run around here. And I don't know, I think it's kind of satisfying to watch like someone break grass like this. This is what I do. I run around like a, f and I do kind of a fan shape. I know it's hard on like pocket edition to do that, but if you're on a computer and you haven't tried running around doing the doing the whole fan break like this, you can get a lot of seeds. And some of them you won't pick up, so you gotta like run back sometimes. But uh, 64 seeds, I know it seems like a lot, but you'll, you'll get there pretty quick. Another cool trick is to like go on the layer below it, right? If you're scared about breaking the ground and just kind of like do it like this. And uh, you can just sort of hold your break button down and get a lot of seeds. But uh, hopefully we can get 64 here pretty soon. I don't think it should be too much longer. There's, there's a, uh, see like there, ah oh, yeah, so satisfying, right? So we're just gonna, hmm. We're just gonna try to get 64 seats. That's one of my sandcastle videos I did. That one was pretty cool. Now I'm still gonna be doing creative tutorials, of course, but these seem to be doing really well because I think I think someone made someone made a really good point to me in the comments because I do read and reply to all my comments. So whatever you guys say, I'll see it. Um, but basically, someone said that like every other YouTuber like does it in creative and they don't really have a perspective of a survival player, and and I understand that, right? I mean, I played survival a lot, but. I think some of my perspective is lost when I tell you, oh, you're gonna need uh, this much of blah blah blah, and also, secret base right here I was thinking about doing, let me know if you want to see that. It's really easy to do, you just need a piston and a lever, no complicated redstone there. I don't know why people do all this uber complicated redstone that no one's ever gonna complete, because that's just, that's hard for me to do, like I can't, I'm not very good at redstone, right? And I see those, I see those videos, you're like, Mumbo Jumbo's a good example, he's really really good. But, uh, you know, he builds stuff that most people, you know, they're going to look at and be like, uh, okay, <laughs> it's still fun to watch, don't get me wrong, but how he makes it, I'm at a loss for words on. Okay, so we have 64 seeds, let me get back to the farm area. 
So I do apologize, guys, if you didn't want to see me break all that grass. But if you didn't, let me know in the comments just so I can sort of figure out what I can do uh, as far as not doing that in the future. Now I'm going to try to break the pond and make it into somewhat of a square without messing up the water. I don't want the water to be flowing all janky, so I'm going to try to get that as even as possible. And it's looking like it's going to work. I think there's no, pl I don't think there's any places in here. You just have to be careful about where you break. See, like right there is an example. I don't know if I can get the water uh, to fill back up or not. And if I can't, yeah, there we go. Okay. So you just sort of have to, you have to play around with it a little bit. I think it's when there's two flows that like flow into the same block. They sort of make it into a whole thing. Okay. So we have somewhat of a square here. Again, if it's not a pond, this isn't applicable, but, uh, but flattening out the area around it should have given you a little bit more dirt I'm gonna try to get just a tab more dirt here maybe a stack and a half should be good I don't think we're gonna need much more than that I think that should fulfill our needs okay so we're gonna go across here and literally all we're gonna do is just place rows of dirt now there are areas in the pond where you can't just place it on the ground and that's fine you want to have a one row in between just like this and then that's what the slabs are for we're gonna place those in between these rows so all we're gonna do is just make rows and rows of dirt pretty simple it's not a very hard build, I wouldn't say. I mean, it's it's somewhat it's somewhat difficult, I guess, to get all those seeds. But you may not need that much dirt either. Like that's all that is a lot of dirt I told you to get, so you may not need that. I'm gonna try to have a little walkway around here, and uh, I'm just gonna break some more dirt real quick. I just want to make sure that we can kind of walk around our farm without it feeling a little bit claustrophobic. So claustrophobic. I'm not even sure how to say the word. I don't know. But uh, yeah, so we have a little bit of an area around our farm now, and uh, again, this can be a very basic farm. What is, what's going on here? Why is this not deteriorating? Oh, it's because this tree's right here. Well, let's just break it then. Come on, game. The, the Minecraft rules sometimes, guys, like if there's a log within four blocks on the Java version, it doesn't break. I think that's the rule, like within four blocks or something. But I'm just going to break this real quick because I don't want it, I don't want it on our farm, okay? I'm trying to make our farm look pristine, guys, pristine. Okay, so. Uh, with all these materials, you should have enough stuff. Uh, our, our one um, shovel is about to run out, so that's cool. That's fine. It's not going to matter. Okay, so we're going to go into our crafting table. We got those 32 logs. Let's go ahead and just make half of them into planks. Let's make a crafting table, and uh, we'll just put that somewhere. It doesn't need to be near the build. So we are going to need some half slabs, so I would get about 60 half slabs. We'll just see how many we need, end up needing. Now we are going to need some fences, so I'm going to say make like uh, that many sticks, maybe maybe 32 sticks. Let, 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 yeah, let's go with 32 sticks. And then we're going to need one fence gate, which I believe is this right here. So we're going to need an oak fence gate, and then we're going to need fence, so make more sticks. And then I think the, hmm, I'm trying to remember how fence is made. I think it's the opposite. I think it's like this pattern, right? And then sticks in the middle. Yeah, something like that. So I made 33 fence, hopefully that's enough. If not, we can always craft more, but I'm gonna go ahead and just get everything we're gonna need in the inventory here, and we're also gonna need that. We're not gonna need a pick. Okay, so let's go ahead and till all of our farm, oh, I clicked the wrong button. Let's till all of our farmland here. Uh, that is also a tree in the way, so we're gonna need to break that, unfortunately. So we might have a little bit of birch stuff in here, but I don't know, you wanna clear out the area around your farm, so you'll end up with a good bit of like materials anyways, so. Maybe the uh, set amount I told you to get at the beginning is not really necessary because you can get as much or as little as you'd like. But I'm just going to break these just so that it's not so cluttered around here. And then might as well, for good for good measure, we'll break this one more. I know. I need to get back to the farm. I'm aware. Okay. So we're going to come back here. I just didn't want to have to like run around and like not be able to actually run around. So... Let's go ahead and till all of these rows that we built. Now you could do the outside as well, but I am for uh, our purposes now not going to do it. But if you wanted to, you definitely could. So we can't fix that row, so we'll just do it like that. And that's honestly gonna be a very good bit of seeds. Like, you, you don't realize it, but each one of those rows is like, okay, started it. I don't even remember, I think I missed a seed. I think I definitely missed a seed. Yeah, right there. Because I'll notice if I miss a seed, guys, I promise. If I don't, I'm very sorry. Now, you may be worried about the water in between. We're going to remedy that in just one second here. I promise. Now, you can either do it with trapdoors or slabs. Uh, you could do it with trapdoors, but, like, I, I don't know. I just wanted to do it with slabs. But, honestly, guys, not going to make a difference. But all I'm going to do is place slabs over the water. And uh, that way we can't walk into the water. 
Which, you know, I mean, you, you may want to be able to walk into the water, and that's fine. But me personally, I want these rows to look like, I don't know, kind of like a farm. Like, uh, I guess anything will look like a farm if you do it. But you know what I mean? Like a, like a, like a modern standardized farm, like with like rows of crops or something. But I guess normal fields of crops aren't rows. So I don't know what I'm going for here, but maybe you'll, maybe you'll see it when I, uh, when I finish. So we're just gonna place the planks in between all of those like this. Now I wanted a walkway around the build. See, we're gonna need a few more of these slabs. Let's just grab, let's grab a couple more. So let's make these, I think we're only need like maybe 12 more. I'm not sure we're gonna need much more than that. Okay, so let's go ahead and fill in these rows. Now over time, these crops are gonna grow. They're gonna look pretty snazzy. Uh, let's grab all these saplings. Now, I don't know how I'm gonna do this survival, like, not not a survival series, but I don't know how I'm gonna do this, like, as of yet. So, stick with me, guys, and we'll, uh, we'll figure it out as I go. So, I'm just going to build a fence, and I'm gonna leave a one block, uh, radius around the entire thing, right? I don't wanna have it, like, feel claustrophobic. That's why I wanted to have an area to break. Now, of course, I do understand that it's not gonna work too well, like, like right here, because things would just jump right over it. So maybe we'll go up and uh, just go around. So let me get a little bit more fence. So maybe I'm gonna grab some more logs, I think. Yeah, let me do that real quick. All right, this is the last tree I'm gonna break. I got like 32 more logs, so I am sorry. I literally like only told you to get half the amount, but hey, I had to do it too. So I feel your pain, guys, I feel your pain. So let's go ahead and come over here. We're just gonna turn half of these into uh, what are we making? Oh, we're making fence. Okay, so we only need the sticks, and then on the outside, we're gonna need the rest. So it should actually be perfect 16, 15, almost there. So 45 fence, you're not gonna need more than that. So that, that should definitely be enough. So let's just go ahead and break the fence around like this. And then we need that one block space in between. So I'm just gonna break out this area and then we're just gonna go up with it. Yes, I'm also aware you could just straight jump on it, but mobs aren't really gonna do that. And if they do, you could always bring it back a little bit and make it more even. So just coming around here with our fence. You just don't want mobs to get, I mean, it's not like super important. It's not like they're gonna completely destroy your farm or anything, but they're, they're not smart enough to do like what I just did right there. But obviously you wanna put your fence gate somewhere you can get in and out of the build. But like right here is fine. And let's go ahead and put another fence gate down. I do want to craft, I do want another shovel, but I don't have any cobblestone, so I'm gonna have to make a pick real quick. I'm out of wood. Oh no. And I'm gonna have to grab some cobblestone real quick. You know what I should do? No, I shouldn't take it off the house. Hmm. Alright, I'm just gonna dig a hole then. We're just gonna dig a hole and get some cobblestone because I need it real bad. Of course, the one place I dig down is is the, the one of the new new stone blocks they add that's not cobblestone that you can't craft tools out of. And then there's enough. <laughs> I don't understand that. I don't know why they added this stone. I mean, it looks cool for building, but they made it too common, I think. And that's just my opinion. But I'm not a huge fan of it. I, I'm one of the original players, so I don't like all these new things. But that's just me. Okay, so we're going to put an X. No, wait. Wait, what were we even crafting? See, I already had a stone pickaxe in my inventory. I don't know what I'm doing. I'm crazy. I just made an axe. I don't even know why. I was going to make a shovel. Oh, my God. Okay, let's grab one piece of stone. Uh, much better. Okay. See, I, I forgot because I started get going on a tangent. I completely forgot what I was doing. So I'm going to break out a little bit of the more of the area around it, mainly for where the entrance is going to be because I don't want the entrance to feel like cluttered or whatever. So you, you may want to dig out a pretty good area around your pond. Um, I'm not going to show me digging it all out because it's kind of boring. But actually, I may because it's not that much more of an area. I'm just going to taper it off like right here. So we're just going to make this area feel a little bit bigger. Okay, so we're going to put some fence blocks right here. Right, we're gonna put those, we're gonna go up a little bit so that we can sort of get up here, put the fence blocks one higher, and then go ahead and place them over. And then we're just gonna break this down real quick. And I have a stone pickaxe, so let's let's stop using that, that wooden stuff. So as we come in here, these crops are gonna grow. They're gonna look pretty cool. I'm gonna wait for them to grow and then come back. Now, some area in your farm, like I could put chests there, but your farm's probably not gonna be the exact same. So maybe I'll build a little something something and we'll go ahead and get some, uh, get some chests going so let's just make uh, we're just gonna probably need like one chest we're not gonna need a whole bunch of chests so something you could do like let's say you have some leftover birch logs right somewhere near your farm if you want to have like a farm chest outside you could do two birch logs like this 
um, under it, I would go ahead and just put your oak, and then I would plop your two chests down. I know I crafted three, but we'll just we'll just pretend it's two. And then you could just bring these slabs over, and you get somewhat of a little farm chest. You can't access it from both sides. So if you have item frames, you put an item frame on it or something. But uh, yeah, I'm gonna wait for these crops to grow, then I'm gonna come right back. I'm gonna go also go in creative just because it's gonna be a little bit easier for me to uh, watch the crops. And uh, may maybe I'll maybe I'll cheat and grab a little bit of the magic dust, the bone meal. We'll see. So uh, as as I cheat and let it make this grow, uh, eventually it'll grow and it'll look pretty. Now I did say get 64 seeds. You may not even want to get like seed seeds, right? You may want to plant potatoes, carrots. Uh, uh, what are those new things? Beets, beetroot, whatever. Um, I don't think I'm forgetting anything. Melons wouldn't work in this farm. So don't try to grow melons here. But you can literally plant whatever you want. Uh, you may also want to extend it, like if it looks a little weird to you. But yeah, you're gonna have rows of these crops, and I don't know. I think it's a pretty cool farm. If you guys like this video, you like this style of video, please leave it a like so that I have feedback and know whether or not to continue making these kind of videos. I'm not gonna stop. I'm, it's not like if you look, you leave a like on this and I get so many. I'm not ever gonna really stop making these kinds of videos. However, I do like to change up my style a little bit. It helps me from getting burnt out, and it's a lot easier on my brain, and I think these videos are kind of fun to watch just to sort of see me gather everything for the build. But uh, yeah, it's a pretty cool build. Um, it won't really grow at night because you don't have anything, but if you had some torches, right, you may want to gather a little bit of coal or something. You could place some torches on the outskirts of the farm. Um, there's a couple of ways you could get it to actually grow at night, and that's going to involve taking your half slabs, putting another half slab on top of them, and then just sort of placing some lights. Now, you could do floating lights, you could do some fence sort of lights, so uh, let, let me just explain what I'm doing, right? Okay, so let's say, we're, where's like the middle of the build? Um, there's not a middle, so let's just, let's just go up like right here, for instance. Where's the middle of this, right here? Okay, so we put one more fence on top put two fence blocks like this and then put two more half slabs and then you could just do some uh, little lights like this so you don't need to put it on the top but that that I mean it, it's a good way to get light in your build um, and it, it looks kind of cool right so you only need one slab and then two fence and then two more slabs or a whole block I'm just using slabs because I'm lazy but uh, yeah that'll help it grow at night and I don't know I think it's a pretty cool farm but yeah if you guys like this video and you want to see more like it and just normal creative tutorials click the subscribe button you get notified when I upload all my music shader back texture pack all that fancy stuff is going to be down in the description below thank you guys so so much for watching i really appreciate all the recent viewership i've been getting it's really really awesome to see my channel not completely die and crash and burn it's kind of cool to be making videos for a lot of people again so thank you guys so so much for watching and i'll see you guys in the next video bye